Welcome to EdsGuitarLessons.com. I'm going to do a quick video, uh, try to be as quick as I can be, on, do, on how to download uh, preset patches or patches that were made by individuals on the custom tone uh, site on line 6. Uh, that's where people make tones so that you can download them into your Helix. Uh, some people design uh, very nice tones in there. Everything from Van Halen, Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, Satriani, you name it, it's there. So, uh, Helix Machine is a great machine. I'm uh, really, I like Line 6, and this is kind of the granddaddy of them all. Um, I guess it's all built on the technology of the pod, starting many years ago to the X3, X3 Live, HD 500s, uh, Firehawk, and now we have the Helix. So, if you're familiar with the, uh, those devices and gearbox, uh, this is a little different. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, hopefully, hopefully I make it uh, make enough sense so that you can uh, figure out what to do to be able to download the uh, presets or the patches from Line 6. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need is uh, to go to Line 6 website um, and go to uh, this page here that has uh, support here on the right where my arrow is. You can see it. And then you hit support. And then you're going to go to Downloads, Products, scroll down to the device, Helix. Uh, I want to get the driver first. Uh, so I go over here and I hit Helix and then the middle box I'm going for drivers. Mine's Windows 7, so that's it's already defaulted to that. So I'm going to hit Go. I don't know why it's taking forever today. Uh, and there's the driver. So you download the driver, that way your Helix can communicate with your computer. The next thing you do is you go back up here and you go to all software. When I scroll down until I got to this one here, it's version 1.01. .01. It's called Helix Application. Helix Application, okay. And what that does is this is going to act like your gearbox, the application. That's going to open up a little GUI on the uh, left side of the screen uh, that acts as the inter intermediate uh, to pull the patches into it and communicate with the Helix device itself. And we'll see that. I've already downloaded those, okay? And so we don't have to do that. Uh, so we'll go back up and we'll go to Custom Tone. So now after those two things are divided, uh, 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 installed, then, um, <clears throat> then you come to Custom Tone, select your device, which here is the Helix over here, press, press on it, and all these um, patches show up uh, that uh, people have made to uh, emulate a lot of different artists' sounds, like Van Halen, Stevie Ray. Lincoln Brewster's even in here. There's quite a few in here. There's 31 pages of 10, so there's 310 patches that are already loaded. What we're going to do is, all you do is come over to the right side, there's download, and you can download the patch. If you do it from this side, uh, it, it, it'll do it either way. From this side over here, where it says that, rock bottom, or over on the right side, it gives you a little information about the patch. But that's all you do. And once you hit download, uh, let's get one that I don't have. Let's do Gilmore. I guess that's from Pink Floyd, I guess. So you hit download. And on my machine, it's downloading down here. You might have a different version of Windows. It's going to go to wherever your downloads is. I would presume it would go into a folder that uh, for the Helix, like many of the Line 6 products, for whatever reason, I don't know why this one didn't, okay? It just goes into my download file. Once I'm in the screen here, you know, a Windows screen, uh, Internet Explorer, or actually it's a Google Chrome, but when I'm in an Internet uh, screen, I hit Control J, and there's, there's the Gilmore. It's one of the downloads. These are all my downloads. The top one is Gilmore, the one I just downloaded. I found this is the easiest way to do it. Um, so I m kind of compressed the window so it's not so big and then uh, so now that I have all my downloads in view I come to this box here uh, it's a square black box with two kind of like arrows pointing at each other and that's the helix icon that's that application software I told you about 
uh, and you click on it and it'll open up on the left hand side of the screen okay and that's what it's doing now and it's starting to pop up as you can see okay um, and it says my helix device is not connected which is a true statement which I have to do now so I will do that once I connected my uh, helix through a USB port in the back of the helix and into my computer then my presets that I previously downloaded show, showed up already here I had already installed uh, some from the website if you remember on this screen here we uh, down uh, that's where we downloaded uh, some of the custom tones or at least one uh, in the demo here and it showed up in my downloads uh, folder I'm able to get to this download folder on Windows 7 by hitting Control J so I'll, just real quickly what's going on on the left over here is basically um, it's acting um, kind of like the screen in the gearbox where all your presets are and now all you have to do is simply grab one and drag it into a spot where you want it as you can see there's a whole list of them uh, there's 32 uh, in this one one folder called user preset one uh, right there we have factory presets these are the ones that come from the factory We're in user preset one right now uh, there's user two user three user four user five times 32 that's quite a bit of uh, places that you can store things okay so you, this endless supply of places to store uh, patches at we're in user one uh, okay right now and uh, that's what you're looking at so I'm gonna pull that patch I'm gonna show you how simple it is just to pull the patch over it's called Gilmore Ch Chad and I'm gonna drag it and put it in 4a you can see uh, it turns blue I haven't released my finger yet off the button on the left button on my mouse and now I'm gonna release it on 4a alright it turns brown um, and uh, it says are you sure you want to overwrite this preset in other words do I want to install it there or I can install it on top of an old one if I wanted to and I say yes of course and there it is Gilmore Chad 4A alright so um, there's different things you can do inside this uh, this software here uh, it says copy paste import export rename export excuse me would be if you were going to upload uh, one of your patches that you've created and want to share with other people on the Line 6 website, you would hit export and it would uh, upload it to their page. Uh, okay, here you can see the Helix uh, device. You can see on the left there a silver wire coming out. That's the USB. Um, and uh, we're going to look in here and find uh, my user one preset folder. So I'm going to kind of zoom in so you can kind of see some of the controls that I use to get in there. Preset button over uh, here. It shows me I got factory one, factory two. This is the same screen that you've seen up on the computer. For me to get over to here to be able to scroll through there, I use my toggle switch. Go over. Now we're going to user one. That's the one we uh, downloaded or pulled that uh, file over into. We just drug it over into... Uh, user one and I think it was 4a so we're going to now scroll down uh, through the list that is in this particular folder and we should see uh, Gilmore Chad right there it just showed up okay it, not just it immediately shows up as soon as you drag it over there it's here it comes over really quickly uh, and so we're going to hit home and there's Gilmore on the screen you can see that it uh, it won't play as long as I'm connected to the computer so I'll unplug the computer the USB port I found that out here's your Gilmore Chad I'll turn on the uh, distortion here monitor delay and the reverb. So there you have it. That's how we get a patch over into the Helix.
So there you have it. That's the Helix. That's how you bring a patch over into the Helix from your computer and download it uh, from Line 6 patch site. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope it was helpful. Uh, God bless and have a great day. Take care. Bye.